What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I have some really, really good news, and I have some kind of disappointing news for some people. Now, the really, really good news is that the laundry's motion to dismiss the Gabby Petito lawsuit has been denied, and that in itself is a cause for celebration. This is what we were all hoping for. Now, the disappointing news is that this doesn't mean that we're headed directly into this jury trial that we all want. There's still some steps that need to be taken. There's a process to this, and I think a lot of people are misunderstanding what this all means. A lot of people think that this means for a 100% fact, we're headed straight into this jury trial. However, we're not there yet, people. We're not there yet. Now, I will say this. I am confident that we're gonna get there. However, there's still a long road ahead of us. But like I said, this is cause for celebration. This is definitely a cause for celebration. And if you wanna know why I'm so positive and why I feel like this is gonna work out, why I feel like this will eventually go to a jury trial, well, this decision came in pretty quickly. And if you watched that day when they were in court, the judge was really interested in this one statement that was made by Bertolino, or how I like to call him, Stevie Two Tex Bertoloni. Now, in that statement, it was basically alluded to that Gabby may still be alive, but we all knew Brian Laundrie's parents knew that she was dead. But they gave hope in that statement that she might be alive. Now, Brian Laundrie's parents have said nothing this entire time, but they did release that one statement. And that one statement is what's gonna come back to bite them on the ass. Now, I believe this is gonna move forward because of that statement and because I believe there is a real desire from everyone for this case to move forward. I believe the public, we all want to see this happen. And I believe deep down the judge and the people involved want to see this happen. Now, of course, the legal experts and the YouTube lawyers will tell you, no, you know, you have to abide by the law. It doesn't matter what public opinion says. It doesn't matter how this judge feels. They're going to abide by these laws. And blah. Listen, miss me with all of that. We all know that this is America and things happen. Okay. Things happen. When people want something, they find a way to get it. And I believe that everyone involved in this situation, including the judge, they probably despise the laundries just as much as we do. Or even if they don't, even if they're not up to game about everything that happened in this case like us, looking at this, you're going to have a bad taste in your mouth towards the laundries once you figure out what they did. Add that to the fact that we have this statement from Bernalino that's going to bite them in the ass and I think it's a perfect concoction. It's all a perfect mixture that's gonna lead us directly to this jury trial. Now, like I said, if you wanna break it down by the law, I think there's um there's plenty of there's plenty of ways that you could look at it and think that, oh, this won't move forward because the Batitos can't prove this and the laundries didn't have to do this. And I get all that. But we've seen it enough in today's world where things happen. If there's enough interest in something happening, if there's enough people desiring something to happen, I guarantee you nine times out of 10, it's going to happen or they will find a way to make it happen. So I do believe this trial is going to go forward. I am very optimistic about that. Now, there's a lot of documents that were released and I'll probably read over them in the next video. I'm sure there's already tons of videos out there of people reading through these documents. So I didn't want to just sit here and read the same documents that you've already heard about this. But overall, it's looking really good. This is a major step in the right direction. And if you would have asked me a couple of days ago, I would have told you that I am not so sure about this trial happening. You know what I mean? Like, you could go back and watch my past videos I, I've been on the fence about this, but after we get this today, we get this news today, uh, it, it provided me with so much confidence moving forward that this trial will happen, that the laundries will be held at least somewhat accountable for what they did. 
I believe the timing of it, how quickly this happened, and how interested the judge seemed to be on that one statement by Bertolino, that we're going to get there. It's going to be a tough road. There's going to be some fighting. There's going to be some statements thrown out there. You know, it, it's not going to be a pretty situation. It's not going to be smooth sailing right into this jury trial. But we're going to get there. More information may have to come out. Who knows? But we're going to get there. I'm confident in that. And I believe that the Batito's lawyer is confident in that as well. And I hope and pray that the Batitos get the answers that they're looking for from this situation. And I think what they really want is just for the laundries to have to just face it. For the laundries to have to stop hiding in their house and to face the music. And you know what? That might be what's best for the laundries. When you really take a step back and you look at the situation and you try to be sympathetic from all angles, it might be best for the laundries to go ahead and face the music instead of living like cave dwellers in their house. You know, how depressing can that be? I believe it will probably get a lot of weight off the shoulders of the laundries to say something now. To, to, face, to face the consequences of their actions and of their silence in this situation. But only time will tell. Of course, I will be here throughout the whole entire situation. Fingers crossed that this does move into a jury trial. But like I said, we do not know for a fact yet, but I am pretty optimistic moving forward. Let me know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.